I'm Lacey Schwimmer, and this is my lovely assistant, Olivia. We're going to show you today a really fun step that a lot of jazz dancers tend to not understand with ballroom. So we are going to do something called a bachicata. If you have your dancers emulate a ballroom dancers, generally this is the step that they're going to try to figure out. So my goal today is to be able to teach this to you, teach it to your dancers, and hopefully you can put it in a fun routine or a combo or in your improv, that's cool too. So bachicatas are super simple with the feet. It's three steps, nothing hard. You're gonna put your right foot in front of you. Now, I want you to make a small ronde behind the back of your foot. You wanna to try to keep your thighs close because the step gets super fast, so if your legs are everywhere, it gets kinda of hard. So you rotate that leg, you're gonna take a step on it, one. You're gonna step forward on two into the ball of the foot. Try to get it on the inside edge of that big toe as best as you can. Take a back step again. Now ronde your left foot. We're rondeing it behind. You're gonna step one, forward two, back three, ronde again, back, forward, back, ronde. That's as easy as the footwork goes. Now it's like 800 times faster, so we're gonna speed it up just a little bit. Right foot in front, we go, ronde, ah, uh, one, two, three, ronde, one, two, three, ronde, one, two, three, one, two, three. Super easy, now let's kinda of do it a little faster. It's really fast, I'm sorry. We go, right foot in front, and ah, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Super easy, still not fast enough, are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Ready, right foot. Five, six, seven, and a yet. That's how fast it's gonna end up being. We'll get you there, I promise. So the footwork, I'm gonna show you this close up of the feet because how you place your feet are super, super important, right? We wanna dance on the inside edge of the ball of our feet. Big toe. If you're in heels, if you're not in heels, it's not an issue, don't you worry. You wanna be in a slight turnout, nothing crazy. Yes, keeping our thighs glued. On this ronde, keep the foot glued to the floor, inside edge of the big toe, right behind. Take a step on the toe to the ball to the heel. You're gonna step now on the front of that big toe, pressing into the ball of the foot, pushing off and stepping back on your foot. This will then lead into your ronde, keeping that toe on the ground taking a step from toe to ball to heel, pushing forward, toe to ball to heel, and stepping back, ronde. Back, push forward, back, ronde, back, push forward, back, ronde, there. Easy enough. So the next part of this lovely step are the hips. Unfortunately, this is the hardest part of it, so we're gonna try to make it as easy for you as possible. When you do this ronde, you wanna take the same hip that is with the foot that's ronding and lift it to the side. You're basically just lifting it to give the leg some space to ronde without going in releve, right? So we're gonna lift this right hip up, the foot is gonna rotate to the back, you're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. So every step that you're taking, your hip is following the steps basically, super easy. So we go, lifting that hip and back, our hip is back. Forward, our hip is gonna go forward. Back, our hip goes back. Again, lift that left hip now, ronde, and it goes backwards, forwards, backwards. Lift, up, back, forward, back, ronde, back, forward, back, ronde. Now we're gonna do it up to speed. It's really fast. You'll get there, I promise. Five, six, seven, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is one of those ballroom steps. You see it on TV, you see a bunch of people trying to do it. Hopefully you guys got a little bit better at it and I hope to see it soon.